people are doing absolutely wild stuff with the new nano banana image model imagine turning a plain photo into something straight out of a dream blend faces remove backgrounds change objects all with one prompt in this video i will show you some mind-blowing use cases and how you can start using for yourself and for your business today let's go you can use nano banana in various ways i will show it on gemini but you can also use on Google AI Studio, third-party tools like FreePeak, Crea AI, Photoshop, and so on. And also via API. We do have one video that we show you how to use it on NA10. You can check the link down below. One of the best part of using this nano banana image on whatever tool you wanted to use is the consistent character image. The face, it's just perfect. And I will show you here on my computer how you can use it. <laughs> so let's begin. Here it's me in a banana that uh, only with a prompt uh, from an image and yeah, and, and then turn me into that. And it's just amazing. So if I click here, I drop a picture of uh, Taylor Swift and myself and, and then I provide this prompt so let me put it like this yeah and with that prompt it gave me this image it's pretty solid it's it's good but of course <laughs> i don't like my t-shirt and stuff but it's it is exactly the t-shirt that i was wearing so i should prompt like something like putting me in a fancy dress so I'll be more ready for the picture but besides that i mean like a friend of mine she she put herself with all her crushes in life it was really good i mean like it did i did believe i mean like not believe but it, it seems like she was in the picture with all of them you know so it's it's nice and also here i've tried some prompts this one it's uh, the image i yeah right here um and i asked to put in on a put myself in a yellow t-shirt and then it gave me it, it's just amazing and then i wanted to create a thumbnail like a thumbnail and then i gave this prompt and, that, and that's in portuguese but it, it means like this ice cream it's uh, super top it's super good and it's pretty solid as well it's uh, it is really good and uh i gave this image and then it gave me this one because i wanted to be a harry potter i want to be hermione of course and then i asked to change the background to be on uh hogwarts uh, at hogwarts it didn't really worked but i mean it did work but it's super clean and happy <laughs> yeah i don't know but yeah it was pretty okay sometimes it doesn't work and i need to say that but i think maybe my prompt wasn't that good and stuff so yeah like like me with Billie Eilish but yeah uh, but the other part it's uh, it's really good and another thing that I I want to show you it's uh, use cases that I really think that they are high impact use cases here to use on Gemini so one thing that you can do is removing objects from images so that's something that you can really use in your business, right? Another thing is removing people from your image. So that's also a good one. And also change backgrounds, as you said, as you saw, just saw with me in at Hogwarts. So yeah, blend two people into one image. So you saw me in Taylor and Taylor Swift together, right? So replace objects in fo photos so you can a phone into a banana or something like that so that's pretty nice as well also try on clothes and or even hairstyles you without any design skills so that's a, a nice one as well that you can try also make the headshot full body you can add logo in like to t-shirts to perfume <laughs> perfume bottles or business cards that's nice as well so you can use that in in your business and generate product visuals fast so no design needed so that's that's really cool and i i really think that they are high impact use cases 
Cool. So right now I will show you where you can read about how to prompt. And one of the best places it is on Google AI for devs. So exactly the best website. I will leave the in I will leave probably in the description below this link. And I'll probably will leave there. And as you can see here, you can do two things here. One thing is like copy everything and just go to ChatGPT or even Gemini. I do that on ChatGPT. And you can say to ChatGPT that you can train a project, you can train a GPT. And if you don't know how to train, we have a full video here and how to train a GPT. I will leave here as well. And then you can ask for help. You can ask for prompts for Nano Banana. So they can help you based on their docs. So that's amazing, right? And another thing that you can do if you come to ChatGPT, GPTs, explore, you can also, you know, like um, say banana or nano banana, whatever. And then you can find some GPTs that people already created. So if we click here and then we start a chat, uh, we can, a chat, we can ask to, to help you with a prompt that you want. So that's pretty amazing as well, right? So here you have prompts that can help you. So this one, it's like image generation, text to image, and then they, they show you how you can prompt and then generate an image. Also here, you know, like it's uh, image adding. So text and image to image. And then you have this, you know, like create a picture of my cat, of my cat eating an a banana in a fancy restaurant and, 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 and then gave that also here so you can read this and copy and paste on gemini nano banana or whatever and then you can just you know like uh, put the words that you you want or share the image as you want and boom it's done so with that in mind uh i found this github with a lot of prompts and images with the input and the output. So it, it's incredible because I really believe that you can find ways to prompt searching it online. So you can find here on my video, you can find in other videos, you can find on Instagram, you can find whatever, you know. So I found this one and it they have more than a hundred cases and examples of showing you uh, ways that you can use nano banana. So, and they also show, as I said, the, in the input that you give to the AI. The, in this case, it's the image and also the, the prompt right here, and then the output. So the AI will work, and then the output it's this one. So it's pretty solid. Uh, and um, and yes, you can check here. They have a lot of um, styles and different uh, prompts that you can use. So it, uh, it it's incredible. So yeah, it's more than a hundred. So you can check it. I will leave in the description below the link for this GitHub. And that's the way I th I really believe that you should um try so you should try by yourself if you have any pro tips or tips that you want to hints that you want to give it just leave it in the comments below i will be more than happy to read and also to try it out but besides that 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 is the way i think it's the best way i found to use nano banana here in our company we are using nano banana in the workflows that we use already and also in the adding part so as you know or maybe you don't but we can automate a video fully so those videos right here i can i i the ai is publishing for us while i'm sleeping yeah so everything it's fully automated, a hundred percent automated, and the image we already use Nano Banana. But we also are generating videos with a human on the loop, and that human also we bring the human image that are made with Nano Banana. So we have a editor team right here, and what we do is like we use clones from our clients for our from ourselves, and for image generation we use in Nano Banana as well. So that's another use case that you can maybe uh, do for you. And if you want to check 
your video engine, how we can publish short videos fully automated that you don't need to face a camera like I'm doing right now. And yeah, you can just check on the link below. I will leave you there as well. So you can check what we can do here for you as well. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you or even inspired you, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot and we stay motivated if you do that. So please do it. And yeah, it brings us, um, you know, joy. <laughs> and even like me and Manu, we don't, we are not English first because it's not our, um, language and it's pretty hard it's not easy as me talking portuguese but i really do believe that we have content to put out there even in english and i have a fly here and so yes please do that so it means that we are on the right track of course if you like it and i hope you enjoyed the journey exploring ai and we are just getting started here so if you like this video probably you like this video as well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.